Hi, thanks for tuning in to this, my latest video uh, of a small series that I'm putting together for you. From the resounding success that I had at my recent training event in London, I put on the next event, which is going to be in Swindon, the Swindon Central Holiday Inn Express. Uh, I've held it there because quite a lot of people have been asking me from all over the country when I'm going to hold the next one, and I thought Swindon would be quite a central location. What I'll be covering during this two days of training is my performance portfolio growth system. I've developed this over the last few years and it's been based on what I've been doing for the last 15 or 20 years. It's a way in which I can chunk the information to sizable levels for you to understand what we're going to be doing. The first aspect is sourcing, how to source properties. The next aspect is what I call measuring. We're going to measure via the internet. We don't have to go out and see the property. We're going to measure the amount of work that needs to be done. We're going to categorize that work in levels, level one, two, and three. At this, we're going to assign an amount of money. So what we're going to be doing is sourcing, assigning the amount of money to refurbish it. And the other thing that I'm going to teach you is how to assess what that property's potential is going to be back on the market. Now, if at this point we determine that you're going to be able to make a profit and an acceptable profit, then we're going to look to pursue this property. And here's the thing. If you get these two elements right, you can't fail to make a profit. You can't fail because we're not going to buy it if we don't get through these checks, if that makes sense. The third stage, once we've determined if we are going to see and shortlist five or six properties, is only then that we're going to go out physically and look at these properties. We're going to determine if our initial assessments under level one, level two, and level three are going to be correct. And then we're going to move forward into the negotiation skill set, leveraging how are we going to speak to agents and get our message across to the vendor of what our offer on this property is going to be and why. We're going to justify why we're making the offer. We're not going to be going with silly offers. We're not going to go in with cheeky offers. We're going to go in with a straightforward explanation as to why we feel the property is worth a certain amount of money. I hear a lot of people lately saying that they can't buy property. They're offering 25% below market value, even more. And, and there's two things, again, that they're doing wrong. One is they're, they're incorrectly assessing the amount of work. They don't know the proper amounts of money. So they're, they're overestimating the cost of the works. Therefore, they're coming in with ultra low bids and not succeeding. In fact, the vendors are getting offended by such a, a, an awful, awfully low bid. So once we've investigated the amount of works and we've leveraged and we've got the property, what we then need to do is look to execute the works. So we need to secure the services of a reliable builder. We need to open up accounts to buy materials at the right prices. And we need to actually project manage the job effectively and efficiently so that when we get the property right and present it for sale, we're away to go. And we can go back in terms of the leverage and negotiation skill set that I'll be teaching you because it's not over until we sell the property. And you, just like the offers you've been putting in, you're going to get some low bids off other people. And then this is where you need to be able to explain yourself as to why the property is worth the money that you're asking for it. I just sold a property just the other day while I've been on holiday here. I put the property on the market for £114,950. It went on the market on the Monday just gone and I received an offer after two days of 107500 which I uh, declined gracefully, thank you very much, but no, that's not enough money. We had a few more viewings, and that second day I got the full asking price of £114,950. The property cost me 60, and I did what's called a level 2 plus work on it, which cost me £22,000, so I'm going to walk away from that property with a £25,000 plus profit. So that's just over 16 weeks. It took longer than it should have done. And that was because I was busy doing some other projects. And I kept that one as a bit of a hospital job for my guys. Yes, time is money. But £28,000 for four weeks, uh, for four months, 16 weeks work, that's not a bad return, I don't think. So if you want to know how you can do this, then come along.
along to the next property training, 17th, 18th of October in Swindon. I'll be posting out the details of the event on Facebook and they're on my website at mikewoodsthepropertyexpert.com. I look forward to seeing you there at the event. I guarantee you will receive property training like nothing else that you've seen. I've been in this game 25 years, a lot longer than a lot of the other property trainers, and I believe that my style and my content is far deeper, richer, and inspiring.